the España series captures sort of this original Spanish character from the turn of the century and handmade in Spain in the way that we would have done it in Domingo Esteso's workshop in 1922. During years of exploring great guitar makers around the world, I called on the ones that I thought were the most qualified. The pure beauty for me was the classic guitar. Gogovia now, one of the greatest guitar player in the 20th century, he said, it's the most beautiful instrument man ever created. It has everything, all deep and high voices. It's like a choir. Eddie helped me redesign each guitar one by one. It was using these methods and traditional building styles of the turn of the century Spanish guitars, not so much the guitars of the 80s and 90s, but the guitars of the 1880s and 1890s. That was appealing to me. So we broke it down basically to a seven fan torus design, bringing all the woods and the braces, everything in balance. In the Hispania series, we did a whole variety of instruments, including a thin body version of a flamenco guitar, electrified, played by the Gypsy Kings, for example. talk about the nylon string guitar, the first thing most people think is Spain. That's where it came from, that's what Spain is famous for, the Spanish guitar. And our España series pays tribute to that. 